Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. I'm going to show you a kind of a nifty feature in uh, Picasa and Picasa web albums. If you don't know what Picasa is, this is a uh, photo collector, organizer, editor, uh, kind of like Flickr. If you've seen Flickr, this is very familiar to it. I prefer the Google way, and this is one of the reasons why. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, which I do, you can actually take your photos and publish them to a web album. And then what you can do is geotag those with locations, and then using a uh, a search feature on Google Maps, you can actually enable an option so that you can see your photo uh, in public view. And I'll also show you how to turn this off in case you're worried about that too. So anyway, I have a photo. Let me just uh, bring it up here from a search. Okay, this is my local photo, meaning local to my computer. It's uh, Ballast Point Park in Tampa Bay, Florida. And what I did is I wanted to upload this to the internet to um, Picasso web album, a public web web album, and then have that show up on Google Maps. So I did that. Now, if I go to my Picasso web album, my public gallery, it takes a second to load because uh, I have something in the neighborhood of 350 photos in there at the time of this recording. So it'll take just a second for it to load. Okay. And uh, what I'll do is I'll search my photos only and search, and it should show up. Okay, there it is. Now, this is a photo that is on uh, of my public Picasso album. You'll notice I have a little map here on the right side. Now, what I did is I geotagged this map. And uh, so that, uh, let me just, what, what I'll do is uh, I'll show it to you actually what it looks like on Google Maps. So this is Google Maps. If I search for Ballast Point Park, Florida, and just search. Okay, there it is. There's Ballast Point Park. Now if I go to the My Maps tab and I tick the option for photos from Picasso web albums and then I just wait a second here. It should show up. Let me zoom out and zoom back in. Oh, there it is. This is my photo. And if I click on it, that's the exact photo I took. And this is in a public search, which I think is pretty cool. So if you're an aspiring photographer and you want to get some uh, you know, digs in and be first with locations. Hey, this is a great way to do it. Give yourself a little bit of free advertising there. And uh, that's basically the way to do it. Now, for those of you that have just seen this and, and completely freaked out and says, oh my God, I don't want my public albums to be to show up in a public search on the map. Well, that's okay. What you can do is you can go to the settings of your Picasso web album and there's a checkbox under public search that says, make my public albums searchable. Just uncheck this. If you do this, it won't show up in Google image searches, and it also will not show up on public searches on Google Maps. And there's a couple areas where it won't show up either. If we actually do the learn more link, it will say all the stuff, uh, Google image search, Picasso web album, community search, Google map, my map features, and services using the Picasso web albums data API. It will not show up if you have this box unchecked. Now I have it checked because I want my photos to be searchable. If you don't want your searchable, uncheck that box. But anyway, I personally think it's pretty neat. And if I uh, go to a, another location, let's just say uh, Tampa. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, do the uh, Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Okay. And then if I zoom in a little bit there and make sure that the photo from Picasso is checked. Get rid of that. Zoom back a little bit. Should show up. In, there it goes. There's a bunch of photos right there. I think one of mine's in here. Yep, there's one of mine that I took on the uh, on the bridge there. Let me just uh, move the map over a bit and close this. Okay. And there's also, you see, photos from a, a whole ton of other people. Actually, here's another one of mine that I took at uh, Fort DeSoto Park. So, yeah, I made sure to put in <laughs> a lot of uh, photos, you know, for, for where I went. Uh, to take photos and things like that. And you can geotag any one of your photos. You can do it directly by uh, longitude, latitude coordinates if you're kind of in the GPS thing like I am. And it's pretty cool. And that's basically the way to do it. And remember, if you don't want any of this showing up in searches or maps, make sure to uncheck that public search option. That's it. Take it easy.